And one local neighborhood is always on the lookout anytime we're expected to get heavy downpours. That's because with enough rainfall, the storm drains in the neighborhood can't handle all the water and it overwhelms the system, sometimes causing sewage to back up right into the homes. Yeah, that's just awful. But as Local 12's Christian Hauser shows us now, there's a program that will help keep the sewage out of your basements. Parts of Covington flooded during an extremely heavy rainfall last June. That caused basements to fill with sewage, damaging thousands of dollars worth of valuables. Brian Pempis was one of the people who had sewage back up into his basement. Well, it happened late at night when I was sleeping, so I didn't notice it until the, the next morning. So it was, uh, it was uh, too late at that point. Um, but I mean, actually, if I had noticed, I don't know what I could have done at that point. Pempis took advantage of SD1's backup assistance program. That's where a one-way valve is installed on your sewer line. If another flood were to happen, it would prevent the sewage from backing up into his basement. It shouldn't happen. You know, if you're a homeowner here, you pay taxes. It shouldn't, um, there shouldn't be issues with the, with a sewer system anywhere in Covington. Um, so uh, not necessarily surprised, but relieved and, uh, you know, grateful. Not everyone's eligible for the SD1 backup assistance program, though. First off, your property must be within SD1 service area, and you must have experienced a wet weather backup. Everything must be in good working order, and you have no illegal connections. Lastly, your SD1 accounts must be up to date. Brian had his installed a few months ago and didn't have to pay anything out of pocket. The program covers up to $10,000, but anything over $5,000 may need a second estimate. Brian says it took only about three weeks from filling out the paperwork until his backflow valve was installed. It was spring just over a month away. You still have time to see about getting one installed before those April showers bring May flowers. In Covington, Christian Hauser, Local 12 News. Covington and SD1 hope to have a fix for the issue this year. There'll be a nearly $700,000 project that will include two additional large detention basins, new stormwater pipes, grading work, and new catch basins. SD1 is under a 2005 federal court order to make improvements to the sewer system throughout northern Kentucky to eliminate these types of problems.